All right, everybody, let's get started with the Rip It or List It. That's right, Rip It or List It. Now, I just got this collection recently. A lot of blister packs, a lot of blister packs. And I really want to dig in here and find something that I can rip. But, you know, it's getting harder and harder to rip anything these days because these things are so darn valuable. All right, let's take a look. Here's the first one we're going to look at today. A red, a beautiful, dark red woody wagon. Wow, that one is pretty. You know what? And this one's even got two buttons in it, two pins. They stuck together and then they separated later. So probably the same pin. But they, they, because they came in a stack and then they stuck them in the, in the package. I believe they made these in one factory and packaged them in another. And, uh, and then the buttons themselves were made in Hong Kong. So they had to ship those over in rolls. And here we go. This one is really pretty. You know what? I'm not going to rip this one right now because, um, I think I might have this color already in this good of shape. But if I don't, I might be back. For ripping, I might be back for ripping. So there is the first one, Red Woody. Now these look like a good candidate because I've got two. I've got two Vickies, and look at this. They're really weird, and they're both the same. Must have come out of the same batch. The, the plastic, the plastic actually has bubbles in it. Really weird looking plastic bubbles. Very nice, very nice looking car. Very. This one's a honey gold. Very, very pretty. Again, I'm going to have to check the one in my collection to see if I really need that. Because otherwise, I just might have to sell these down the road here a little bit. Look at this. Two honey golds. Both very nice. This one's got a little crack in the top there. Got the same bubbles on it. It's really weird. Really weird. Wow. But look how pretty they are. Oh, who doesn't love a gold Vicky? No one. Nobody doesn't love. Everybody does love a gold Vicky. I don't know how this collection came together, but it does look like, I think what happened was somebody was going to Shell gas stations to get the Shell cars, and then they were collecting them up somehow, because it, this collection also came with an original box, a Shell box. Now look at this one, 36 Ford Cube, very, very, very nice. Of course, it's mint in the package. I guess you call it mint in the package. I, uh, you know... I, I when it comes to condition, I only take I don't take off points for uh, for uh, discoloration or spots. I take off points for chips and wear, and so I would call this a mint. If I took it out of the package, it would be a mint blister pull. It has beautiful wheels on it, but look at that. That's the saddest thing that the uh, rumble seat is beautiful. If the whole car was that color, it would be so beautiful. But the rest of the body, which obviously was polished someplace in some other part of the factory, another line and then this was put on it maybe they were i don't think they were even put together you think they were painted first and then put together or put together and then painted if you have any ideas leave your comments below that'd be great this one look at this now one thing about 36 ford coupes you'll find that most of them are not shiny anymore on the chrome grill this particular one is which i really love that but uh the, the base is kind of darkish but um, I would call that like a blue base. I like to call anything that's not shiny a blue base. And if it has corrosion, well, that's a whole other story. There's the 36 Ford Coupe. Doesn't look like I'm going to be opening much, if anything, in this Rip It or List It. 36, or 57 T-Bird. Classic 57 T-Bird. Look at that. Now, all the packages in this collection were in good shape. Uh, not, not too many really super minty ones, but all nice. Now, look at this green 57 t-bird the hood matches and it is really hard to get a 57 t-bird with a matching hood white interior green very very pretty very pretty i may open this one someday but in the meantime it's just gonna have to rest in peace there whenever you run across a batch of blister packs you really hope that you get some customs, custom AMX we got in this collection. Custom AMX, custom AMX in a, in a, uh, an unpunched blister pack. This one has a crack, crack front to back on this side right here. This is pretty common. Cracks are common. The reason why is because when they're stuffed in the, when they're stuffed in the case, they sit like that and the top card pushes down. So this, the top card gets bent up and then the bubble gets bent down and then eventually they do crack. Otherwise, this thing is gorgeous. Nice yellow color. Is that yellow? No, that's lime. Definitely a lime color. Very nice, though. Very nice. Don't think it's not. Yeah, you know, yellow. Yellow is pretty obvious when you see it. Let's see how big is that crack, anyway. That's uh, cracked on the bottom, too. Very fragile on that one. 
but beautiful nonetheless. Whoa, so beautiful. And then, then there's this one. This one's close to a candidate to rip. I don't think I'm going to rip anything today, so yeah, maybe pink. Oh, look at that pink continental. Look at that. That's pretty. Huh? Whoa, are we out of focus? Come on, Dave. Got to watch that screen. Watch it. Watch it. All right. Look at that pink. This one's a bubblegum pink. Nice and even. Light, wispy toning. You know, it's really nice under the light here. I got a lot of light on to make these look super beautiful. Look at that. Too bad it's torn right there. But, you know, otherwise it's got wrinkle hair. You know, it's got bent over one way or the other. And there it is. It's got crack here. Yeah, it's more of a, it's a nice package, average package. It's not a mint, mint, mint package. It's very nice. Look at that pink. Look at that. You see the spotty on the hood spot there. I think you can see it over there now. Can you see the spots? Yeah. Yeah, I think you can see those a little bit. Boy, I was looking, I'm going down my list, and the next one I see is this red Maserati. This one's definitely going in the collection, as is. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Wipe off the little goo there. This one is a beauty. Oof. But look at that pin. The pin's got two scratch marks across it. That's crazy. That's crazy, but I love it. I love this one because it has a white card, and the white card is beautiful white. So pretty. Hmm. So this one's going to go in the collection. Something else is going to have to come out. I don't know what, but uh, this I, I usually take one out for everyone I put in the collection. You know, you can only enjoy so many blister packs. Come on, I mean, come on, really. And so this one's definitely going in the collection. And another one, I didn't see it here in the box, but there was a brown Lola. And if you watch my last Rip It or List It, I had a brown Lola that had a mismatch from the front and back, but this new one is perfect front and back. So that's definitely hanging up on the wall of fame. Wall of fame. This one's going on the wall of fame too. Wall of fame. Next one up, McLaren. Rose McLaren. Rose, you know, that sounds like somebody's name. Hello, Rose McLaren. How you doing today? It's your teacher. Her name is Rose McLaren. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. So beautiful from the side. The front's a little glossier than the back. I'd say the, eh, it's about a half shade, quarter shade darker on the back. A little more satiny. The front's real, real shiny. And that is a beautiful package. So, again, look at that. Oh, boy. You know, these things just can't be taken out when they're this nice. What else? Blue Mercedes. Blue Mercedes. And look at this with the white card again. Hmm. White card. Yeah, but a really nice white card. Blue Mercedes, nice bright paint job. That's pretty. That's a pretty one. I do love, I love, I wish all of them had a white card. All blister packs had a white card, but they seem to be random in, in usage of white cards. Hmm. I do love them more than others. They just stand out so nice. There is the blue Mercedes with a white card. This next one doesn't have a white card. It's a police cruiser. Police cruiser. Mint condition. I love that. You know, I keep trying to hold on to a police cruisers, but everybody's always bugging me for police cruiser. You know, but that's a neat car. Look at that shiny base. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Woo. That thing is perfecto. Woo. Man, oh, man. Love that. Absolutely. I love that. Most are going to have to go hang on the wall, I think. Hang on the wall for a while. All right. Next one up. Rolls-Royce Mint Blister. Woo. Got a couple of... Uh, Paint pops on the roof of this beautiful, otherwise beautiful Rolls Royce. White interior, unpunched card. Wow, look at that. That's nice. Got a couple of paint pops. They're, they're very minor, though. I would say you don't—they don't show all the way through the paint. It almost looks like a lighter gray underneath. But look at that beautiful white. And shiny base too. Look at that shiny base. These cars are very, very nice. And the next one is a Shelby Turbine. Shelby Turbine. This one in the green car, green package with a white card. There is the sticker sheet underneath. Green, a Shelby Turbine. A little bit of wear on the top of that card. Nothing major. Nice color. Matches the pack package almost. Look at these. It's starting to populate. Populate. What's up? Wait a minute. What's that? What's that? Oh, whatever happened to this one? Brabham Repco Aqua. Brabham Repco Aqua. This one needs to be have a little work done to it to unfold it. And there it is. Very nice. Look at that. Sticker sheet's in great shape. Hasn't been exposed to any moisture of any kind. Getting crowded here in 69. Next one up. 
Split an image, split an image in rows. Look at that baby. Ooh, got a got those crease across there from being tight in the in the box. When I got these, they were still in in a box. They have that box as well. All right. I keep forgetting that when you film at 60 frames per second, the phone can only do it for 10 minutes at a time. 10 minutes at a time. So we're going to do this video for about 20 minutes. So stay tuned for another 10 minutes. And uh, there we go. And now a word from our sponsor. All right, now let's take a look at the final three from 1969. I do believe it's the final three from 69. We've got a Torero in teal. A teal. A teal is like aqua, but brighter and shinier and prettier. You don't see too many dark aquas on a Torero because the Torero is kind of a late bloomer. It was still around in 70. Made it for a while. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. See if we got enough room to keep going on 69. Yes, got gold turbo fire. Gold turbo fire. One thing about gold turbo fire is that they're always they've always got toning here and there. Super tough. Turbo fire is a very very cool car to collect. One time I saw a guy who was collecting nothing but turbo fires, and man oh man, does his collection look great. It's a great model. When you were a kid, you definitely wanted the turbo fire. It was probably one of the most popular cars back in 1969 and 70, as well, the Twin Mill. Twin Mill, again, in the teal. This is a later color for the line. Very cool. Now, did you like the Twin Mill, Turbo Fire, Terrier when you were a kid? If so, leave your messages below. Always feel free to leave your comments below. As I reach back for the final car from 69, which is this Olive Beach Bomb. Olive Beach Bomb. Never been out of the package. It's never been out of the package, but it needs to come out of the package. But unfortunately, on this episode of Rip It or List It, I'm not going to do any ripping. So, all you people that don't like ripping, you should be happy. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I don't, I'm not in the mood to rip anything today, believe it or not, but I will be, I will be someday. First, I got to look in my collection and see what I need to upgrade and change and swap around and sell and buy and all that kind of stuff. I think I might need this one particularly because it's a pretty, pretty light olive. Very light. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Starting on a few 70s, a few 70s with the light green Carabo. I am a Carabo lover. I love Carabos. That is a beauty. I just may have to open this one eventually. I'll have to consider it because I do have about, I think I have six Carabos in my collection. I want them to be really shiny and pretty. And this one looks like it just might fit the bill. So, Carabo may get ripped, but again, no ripping today. I'm just not in the mood for ripping. Sometimes I am, and sometimes I'm not ready because I just came home from a long road trip. I came home from a long road trip on Sunday. Next one up, Demon. Demon in blue. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Oh, this one definitely. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. That blue is so pretty. Yeah, that's going to be a ripper. That's going to be a ripper. Oh, I love that. It's so pretty. Got to make sure mine is not that pretty. If mine is not that pretty, then this one's coming out. This one looks like, oh, my goodness. Can you see the shine on that thing? I bet you can. I'm filming in 60p. You should be able to see that. That is gorgeous. Freaking gorgeous. Gorgeous. And here's something that's not gorgeous, but it's nice. It's a Jack Rabbit special. Every collection seems to come on with one. And this collection is no different. Here's the Jack Rabbit special from this collection. About 75 blister packs in this find all together. All together. Next one up, Ferrari 312P. Ferrari 312P in green. A light corrosion on the motor pipes, the stacks, and fairly, fairly, uh, fairly, uh, quite a bit of uh, paint popping on the front there. But that's what you get with a Hong Kong Ferrari. Beautiful stickers. They still look nice. If you pop this out, of the, you wouldn't really want to pop this one because it's on punch cards. Really nice. Paint job is, is nice and even, but it does have those paint popping, which doesn't necessarily take away from it because it's still a beautiful... 50 year old car i mean come on 50 you you can be 50 years old and still beautiful and here is a ferrari 312 look at this one. Oh my goodness this is so pretty and it's a hong kong can you believe it the paint is 
freaking perfect. It's perfect Hong Kong paint. I, I never, I very rarely, if ever, get to say perfect Hong Kong paint. This one's gorgeous. Blue window, shiny pipes, beautiful white card underneath. Oh, going to have to consider that one for the hall, the wall of fame, the wall of beauty. You're not making that up right now, right? I'm just making that right up. Next one, going alphabetically, light my firebird, light my firebird. Light corrosion on that motor there, but still nice. Light roughness in the paint and a satin finish. A little looks like they might have kicked up some dirt ripping out of the parking lot on the back fender there, but look at that. Overall, it's very nice. Very nice. Got actually chrome shiny front end. That's cool. That's cool. Wish the motor was chrome shiny. But that's why I got into the Hot Wheels hobby and buying and selling in the first place is so I could have lots of stuff to look at. Lots of stuff to consider. What's next? Dave, what's next? Mantis, Mantis. Oh, we're almost done with this video. Oh my gosh, look at this one. The Mantis is in the worst package of all. It's probably the worst package in the collection, but look at the car. It's beautiful for Hong Kong. And there she is, blue mantis, blue mantis, and the, there's another mantis, here it is, it's over here, rose mantis, goodness, look at that, rose mantis, ooh, pretty, cards unpunched, a little folded over, gotta work on that, I've always wondered how to uh, do that, should I iron it, sometimes I think maybe if you got it a little damp and then put a book on it, and uh Get that to flatten out. What do you think? Leave your comments below if you have any good ideas on how to flatten a blister pack for a red light. Next one up in this lot. Ooh, light green mod quad. Mod quad. Look at that. I also love mod quads. Of course, I love all Hot Wheels. You know that. And that light green looks so nice. And those motors are super shiny. Super, super shiny. That is so pretty. I just love that. So pretty. Wow we wow we I hope you're watching this video on your big screen TV because you can take in all of the fabulous colors. Next one up is a peeping bomb. A peeping bomb. This one's purple and it's basically out of the package already. And um yeah, but it's not actually been out of the package yet. So I'm gonna check my peeping bomb collection before I pull it. Sorry, and look at that, that button got sealed in there before it got sealed in it's not actually loose it didn't come out it is sealed this one for some reason is just a little a little pulled back i think it's almost like somebody was thinking about ripping it and then decided not to i'm not going to rip it because the base is dull and i don't like dull bases i like shiny bases but if i don't have a purple one i may have to reconsider because you can polish that base up you got to be real careful if you're trying to polish that and you don't you might want to take the wheels off and polish that but be careful one time i put i had a purple swinging wing and i put uh tape across the paint and so i could polish the base off and then when i pulled the tape off the paint came off so if you know anything about that leave comments below i appreciate that fire chief cruiser fire chief cruiser to the rescue right there beautiful package beautiful paint nice and bright Fire Chief Cruisers typically come in, um, they actually come in U.S. and Hong Kong, isn't that right? I believe that's true. This one says USA and foreign patent pending. And some of them have, uh, some of them have two-piece wheels, some of them have hub wheels like this, some of them have U U.S. wheels, some of them have Hong Kong wheels. Some of them are very bright, some of them are very dark. So there's a lot to, uh, to look at when you're collecting the Fire Chief Cruiser. All right, a couple more things I'm going to show you this time. A couple of paddy wagons came in the lot. Let's see, this one's got the gold writing, and this one also has the gold writing. They're both Hong Kong or U.S. versions because the paddy wagon does come in a Hong Kong and a U.S. version. The U.S. is more common than the Hong Kong. You can get gold or silver writing on the side. I'm not sure why. If you do know why, please leave your comments below. They're pretty nice little paddy wagons. They're hard to, they, they, even those are getting hard to get someday. And, you know, like I say, I have a case for these. It came from a shell, but then some of the stores were bought at this store here, a VM store, VM price, whatever that is, Value Mart. I think it might be Value Mart. And while I've got you, let me show you a couple more things that came in the collection. I've got some really neat 70, the rest of the 70s, and some neat 71s I will show you on the next 
one of these kind of videos, which will be about a couple weeks from now, probably. So stay tuned. Now, you know I got 460 videos to watch, right? All right. So there was also a few flying colors in this collection. This one, the American Hauler with the red stripe tires. Very nice. Very nice. Is there any more with red stripe tires? Yes, there is. There's the gun bucket with the red stripe tires. You know, and I'm, I always, I still say red stripe, but you know, that's not a, if it goes in a circle, is that really a stripe? If you, if you know the answer to that question, leave comments below. Oh, circle gets the square. All right, and a Brinks Funny Money Truck black wall, black wall, black wall, and this one damaged, but it's a paramedic, paramedic. Maybe it can rescue itself. All right, and here is the iced tea black wall. These were kind of rough shape, actually. Oh, look at this. I love the Backwoods Bomb. That's one of my favorites. Blackwoods, Backwoods Bomb with the dragon, kimono dragon on the side. And the very last one, the Poison Pinto. The Poison Pinto. And there it is. So that is all of the collection I'm going to show you today. I've got about this many more for the next video. Rip it or list it. That's right. It's supposed to be rip it or list it. This one was... This one wasn't either rip it or list it. Wow, I can't believe that. All right, so that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out all my other videos. If you haven't subscribed, do so now. I demand, I command you, subscribe. And uh, and uh, all that, because I've got so much to, to talk about. I've got so many things to video. And this collection's coming in all the time for crying out loud. So here's some more videos for you to watch. Check them out now and thank you for watching. Bye now. Dave Williamson, Toy Car Collector, signing out.